Hi there, my name is Dimitri from PDF.ai, and in this video, we're gonna dive into the difference between PDF.ai and Light PDF. There are a lot of great PDF tools out there, but there's a difference between what we have and what other products have. So I wanted to showcase to you some of those differences in a tool like Light PDF that you probably haven't heard of before. Or if you have, and you're interested in finding a solution because it's not serving you as well as you'd like, let's talk through what we have here at PDF.ai. So first of all, Light PDF is a full featured PDF editor that allows you to do a myriad of different things. It is available for download on all of these different devices right here, like Windows, Mac, iPhone, and Android. And you can chat PDF with AI by uploading documents here and then interacting with the AI experience in here, which is the primary comparison we're gonna make. So as you'll see after uploading it, you can for free use the 3.5 model and then upgrade for advanced four. And you can ask any questions that you'd like if you sign in for an account and get started with it. And as you'll see, basically as I ask questions, I can change the uh, chat name for the session and ask more questions as well. It has the ability to give you recommended questions too, similar to what PDF.ai has. And it is a pretty sleek and cool user interface overall. And there are other quick prompts that you can add here as well. Now it is missing some functionality as uh, if we look at the other billing options, you'll see that you can do some things in here that do exist within PDF.ai, but we have some things that PDF.ai has that this product does not have. So you're able to use the advanced four model, chat with scanned PDFs and other documents. There's no limit for AI chat history that's stored. It's on the free version, there is a limit. And there's a daily document process that is removed when you get on the premium plan and removes a bunch of different limits overall. So you can interact with this for free and uh, kind of experience a more watered down version of what you'd get uh, from other tools like PDF.ai, for example. And the premium version just essentially lifts a lot of those different features off. But when we look at PDF.ai, we do have a free version that allows for 500 questions a month and it has OCR support for free, a Chrome extension, and a lot more options like the ability to add team members when you start going for other plans, GPT 4.0 with unlimited usage on the unlimited plan, and live chat customer support is actually an option. The Chrome extension is a key one here that I really am a fan of, so you'll notice that I have the Chrome extension installed. And if I found that same PDF that I uploaded on the web, I can utilize the bottom right of my screen here to interact with the PDF, ask questions about it, like what is this article about? Without having to go into the user interface, uploading it there. And I actually have another really quick, cool hack where I can do PDF.ai front slash, and it'll add it to my PDF.ai account. And you'll see a pretty similar layout here with the PDF on the side, as well as prompting and capabilities on the right with customizable prompts, recommended prompts, a prompt library that you can build out and edit, as well as the ability to change the layout, delete chat history, and a few other options like downloading the chat history as well. Something that this product can do that other products can't is it can actually use a image recognition software to, with AI, let's say I ask this question, what is this image depicting? And it'll let me know what it's depicting. What kind of image depicts a cluttered and disorganized office or storage room? So it does have a really high advanced AI capability, a myriad of different prompts to choose from. And not only that, but the product itself comes with the Chrome extension and a bunch of PDF tools that are awesome, like Resume Checker, where you can use AI to roast and review your resume, a scanner, which gives you the option to overview and ask questions of a resume, an invoice scanner, a quiz generator, a PDF merger, an ability to split PDFs, and much more to come soon. So while there are cool products like Light PDF out there, I think you'd want to give PDF.ai a chance because we have a myriad of different suites. While Light PDF is a great option, PDF.ai simply has a huge skill set and feature set that I think you should try out today. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.